Good morning, church. As you can see, we are at home. And we're grateful that we're able to worship together at home and at the church building. And as we begin communion together this morning, let's read Matthew 26, 26 to 28. While they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. And also in Luke twenty-two nineteen, 19, Jesus tells us to do this in remembrance of him. You know, we have been thinking this week, what is the focus of communion? And the answer, of course, is Jesus. The communion table is about Jesus and how he brings all of us together. It is about a shared experience. He asked his disciples as they commune to remember him. What about Jesus should they remember? What about him should we remember? Should we re remember his death and how horrific it was? Yes, we should. Should we remember the cross and how he suffered and the atrocities that went with that? We should remember his death. But let's not forget how he lived and how he changed the lives while he lived in the Middle East. He lived among people who were oppressed by a Roman government. They were led by religious leaders who sometimes saw the letter of the law, but not the people. So when we remember Jesus, we should remember what he meant to those whose lives he changed. The people that he called, they were just living life. He called fishermen. They were living an ordinary life, fishing. One was stealing and overcharging his fellow countrymen in the form of a tax collector. But their lives were changed after meeting Jesus. Their lives were turned upside down when they encountered him. And what about our lives? When we encounter Jesus, are our lives impacted? Is our life turned upside down? And when we remember Jesus in our life, what do we remember? Uh, maybe you remember a time where Jesus helped you through a marriage issue. Or maybe you remember how he intervened in raising your children. Um, maybe you remember a time where you had a job loss or there was a sickness or there was just uncertainty. Maybe you remember a time where he celebrated with you. And my personal favorite is remembering when he was just present. When there was no crisis and no major celebration. It was just a day-to-day -day moment. Communion is about Jesus. It's about what he is doing in our lives. Participating in communion is reliving the story of Jesus, not just his death, but his life. And as we commune, ask yourself, what is Jesus doing in your life right now? Now, for those of you in the auditorium and for those of you at home, after the prayer, please feel free to join us in communion and let's do this in remembrance of him. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for the blood, for the body of Jesus. We thank you for his death and we thank you for his life, the way that he changed lives of those he came in contact with. Let him change our lives, Father. Let him continue to change us as we go forth and share communion with the world. We pray this in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. Amen.